<laughs> okay, here's a quick look at the unboxing of the uh, Surface Pro X. Just got delivered through the day. Let me take a look at it. Just a quick look here at the their design. Let's see, we got a quick call. Let's send that to voicemail. This is the actual uh, 16 gigabyte 256 version. As you can see here, set that aside there. So, this is basically what you get in here. The package is kind of labeled here. Where again, which is nice, it's got LTE built in, so that's going to be pretty nice. It, it is a little on the heavy side, but it's a uh, nice weight to it. So, I'm wrap. Well, before we do that, just quickly, there's not much in here. There's just power adapter. As you can see here, it's just basically the same power adapter that you normally get. There's nothing else on the box. These are probably just a quick, uh, yeah, just little brochures and the SIM opener here. So we'll keep that and just quickly tells you kind of where to open the SIM on there. So just set this on the side over here. And pop this open here. I tell you, very nice, a very sleek design. Let's take a quick look up in the front here. You have the camera, the uh, sensors, microphones. Got that. It's got two. Uh, the body to ratio on the screen is almost all the way to the side here. And basically, you know, you got a full screen there on there. So here on the side, you've got your uh, Microsoft connector there. And it's got the, this should be the, let me look at it really quickly before I tell you guys. Yeah, that's your power button there. Here, as you come down here, uh, it's got the little notch for the kickstand. And it's nice and solid it's on there, the kickstand. So... You know it's a typical surface and as i have it open here you can see back here it's got the microsoft logo just like their other services and here is where you open the sim card so let me take a quick so basically you would just uh push that in there and as you can see um it's removable uh, SSD so this is kind of I guess a different size but we'll take a look that you can probably purchase that here's where your sim card would go in here too bad it doesn't have an external not external but a micro SD card reader as well which would have been nice so let's continue in the back it's got the camera in the back it's very thin as you can see here very light speakers are uh, on this top right and then top left here uh, and you can see how smooth and the edges are all the way around and then as we come down here you got your volume control up and down two two uh, type c usb connectors uh, ports there excuse me and again it's got the little notch so that way you can open this here in the back of course it's got the microsoft logo so anything else uh, i'll be testing this out i know this is an arm processor type so uh, for now i won't expect to do much you know running apps but i will try some 32-bit apps of windows and see how this runs many reviews say it runs slow but we'll take a look and see if not we'll be returning this and we'll get just the regular iCore 7. so that's pretty nice and um, we'll go ahead and this is the keyboard it's got the stylus here all built in together these keys are very nice very thin as you can see here it's got the alcantara type keyboard so we'll put this in as you can see here on the desk it actually stays on there so that's kind of what you'll get very nice uh, portable i like the uh, feature that it you know stylus hides in there so you can't see 
very nice, actually a very nice device. So you can see very portable. If you compare that to the, this is the actually um, iPad Pro 12.9 inch. So you actually have more screen real estate on the Surface Pro and it's basically the same size. Uh, you can see there a little bit, it's a little bit wider, but overall height, uh, actually the height of it, you can see it with the keyboard and all of that, this is probably about a couple millimeters shorter on the Surface Pro. So kind of weight wise, well, about the same, but I'll put the specs on there and you guys can compare. So that's pretty nice. So I hope this helps uh, if you guys were interested in purchasing the uh, Surface Pro X. Very nice device. I really like it. I wish the uh, actual Surface came in this style, with, especially with the um, wider screen that there's no reason they could make that on the Surface Pro. And also, let me check this. I just kind of, uh, if you get the keyboard, you, you might see a little wiggle. You can see how it wiggles, but it's kind of, it's not so bad as you can see there i mean it slides a little bit not too bad so if you guys are interested in picking it up um this is a great device i'm going to be testing it out thanks for watching